Welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from June 27th to July 3rd. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you. It may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, Gemini, so your challenge coming up for the following week here is the King of Cups. Okay, and the important message is what situation in your life requires balanced emotions and careful observation? Okay, this is part of your challenge. We're going to clarify your challenge and see more in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups here in reverse. Okay. So Gemini, this has a lot to do with some sort of situation in your life that has been super emotional. It's been high um, vibe here with the emotions. There's something here about a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person um, that maybe you've been having difficulties with could be a sun, moon, or rising water sign here. We're going to clarify that and uh, see what your challenge is here in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the seven of pentacles, the six of wands, and the nine of wands. So in the recent past, I strongly feel there was this energy of overthinking something. It's like, you know, do I still want to be a part of this? Do I still want to be involved in this? What does this mean to me? You know, is there value here? There's something here in the past about setting boundaries, creating boundaries. I do feel Gemini something here in the past started to come to an end. Something here that may have been very successful for you at one point, but then things changed. Okay, and we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like in the present moment, there is this energy of trust issues, okay, in the present moment. It's like, can I trust this person? You know, um, does this person have my best interest at heart? Especially if you went through something, you know, in the recent past where trust was compromised, right, with the Seven of Swords here. And I do feel, Gemini, there is two energies I'm seeing here in the present moment. This could be you and your person. I am sensing that one of you wants stability. It's like one person really wants stability. They really want this connection while the other person's kind of on and off. You don't really know where this person stands or maybe they don't know where you stand. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that... There's something here in the near future that is going to be put back into balance, okay? And this is why, you know, with the King of Cups, it talks about balanced here. And in the near future, you have the justice. And the justice is all about the scales. It's all about the balance here. So we're going to see what this is all about, what this situation is that's going to be set right uh, when we clarify in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, you have the Six of Cups here in reverse. So what this is indicating to me, the Six of Cups is all about our past. It's about memories. It's about past relationships, past lovers here. There's something here about you, you know, maybe forgiving someone from your past or, you know, releasing these negative emotions that you have surrounding this person. I do feel what you don't see coming is a reconciliation, but it's not a reconciliation necessarily for you and this person to get back together. It's more or less for you and this person to release one another, okay, six of cups in reverse, release one another the correct way. And that's what I've been talking about now on the channel for a very, very long time. It looks like you're coming to that point. All right, so let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the King of Cups. All 
All right, so Gemini, your challenge is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Six of Swords. It's really interesting, right, that your challenge here is, again, talking about what I just mentioned. The Five of Wands in the center of, of the clarification is talking to me about a conflict, a conflict. So it, it's almost like it's been very challenging for you to really talk about a conflict, to talk about issues that have really been affecting you. In order for you to completely release yourself from this Gemini, this situation, this conflict, this disagreement you have with someone, this is about really connecting with how you feel, okay? This is about how you, you know, how you feel. Um, are you sad? Are you upset? You know, and if you are, that's something that you should be, you know, expressing here. That's why your challenge is with the Eight of Wands, because it's about communicating that, right? Uh, because for many of you, this is about getting your emotions back into balance, right? And again, it doesn't matter what it is that you want to do in your life. If you want to manifest something, if you want to find love, if you want to, uh, you know, we all have goals and things that we want to achieve. And if we're still in a state of chaos, conflict, anger, uh, and we haven't released that correctly, no new beginning is going to be successful until we release that. So I feel like that's what your challenge is all about moving into the month of July. This is about you really recognizing why there's a conflict, what needs to be resolved. And once you resolve that situation, how can you bring your emotions back into balance about this? Okay, and that's your biggest challenge because a lot of you want to just disconnect. There's something here about conflict and whenever conflict arises, you just want to disconnect. You don't want to deal with it. And the truth is there's a reason why it's happening. Okay, so you're realizing something big here when it comes to your manifestations, attracting new love, uh, your goals, you have to have clean energy to do that. Okay, and that's your biggest challenge moving forward. Now, let's talk about the recent past, Gemini. I want to clarify the Six of Wands. Something here was super successful for you in the past. Tell me more about the Six of Wands for Gemini in the recent past. So the Six of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Swords. You have the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. There's something here about um, a negative situation that you experienced in the past, which caused you a lot of pain, really got you into this place of Gemini of recognizing, you know what? I need to get focused back on my success. I need to get focused back on, on track. There's something here that happened that pushed you into this new direction in the recent past. And it made you realize something here really big, especially when it comes to pain, trauma. I do feel you were questioning a relationship here in the past. Uh, the important message here is what situation in your life are you ready to invest your time, energy, and money into? So there could be, there could have been a, a situation in your life in the recent past, Gemini, where you wanted to invest your time, your energy, and, and, and efforts into it. But I do feel there was some sort of blockage here, or it, it may have felt like something here was coming to an end. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands in the recent past for Gemini. You have the Fool, the Hermit, and the Two of Pentacles. So there is definitely a decision here that needed to be made about whether or not you wanted to have a new beginning with a specific person. Okay, and there was a lot of questioning. I'm getting a lot of questioning here in the recent past. Do I really want to have a new beginning with this person? Especially Gemini, if this was someone who caused you pain, hurt you, and you never really resolved things with. Okay, so what I'm seeing here in the recent past was there was a lot of uh, uncertainty about whether or not you were going to spend the future with this you know, specific person here. So let's talk about the present moment. Now, in the present moment, it looks like there's two different energies that I'm picking up on. You and this person, whoever it is that you're seeing right now or whoever's coming into your life, there's a lot of trust issues. And this is why your challenge is the King of Cups because the King of Cups is someone who goes into something wholeheartedly. It's like, you know, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is like, you know, I, I want to love, I want to have a, a connection with someone, but how are we supposed to have a connection with someone if we're still in this place of being um, unbalanced within our, our emotions? And one of the things that I did mention also, like uh, in the community, actually, I think I posted yesterday and I said, be the vibration that you want to attract. So, or be the vibration you want to meet, which ultimately means in order for us to truly find love and be happy in love, we need to make sure that we're constantly working on ourselves. So if there's certain emotional unresolved issues from the past or emotional unresolved issues within us, even if it's not a part of the past, 
most of the time it is, uh, then that creates some sort of energy blockages, okay? And this is what your reading is all about. So I don't know if you're attracting a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, some of you are, and this person's just not consistent with you. And you may have trust issues about this person, okay? And this again is connected to your energy. So let's talk about it. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the present moment for Gemini. What's the important message here? So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that this has a lot to do with you still healing. There's someone right now, Gemini, what I'm seeing, someone important that's coming into your life. This person who's coming into your life is going to help you rebuild your life. They're going to help you really get back to this place of being stable. You right now, Gemini, are not in a stable place. You're getting there, but you're not quite there. You are doing the work. You are healing. But what I'm seeing here in the present moment is the trust issues, okay, with the seven of swords. And it says, what situation in your life do you need to protect and cherish? There's something here about you needing to protect something here in the present moment, which is going to allow you to rebuild your life and get to this place of completely healing. Now, some of you are attracting love, but it's moving really slowly. And the reason why it's moving really slowly for you is because you still are working through issues that are related to this conflict and trust issues that you're trying to get over. So tell me more about the seven of swords for Gemini. So the seven of swords is clarified by the star. You have the five of swords and the hangman. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that you are still in this place of healing star. You're making plans for the future, but Gemini, you're also realizing what you need to leave behind. And this is why the hangman is here, because you're in a place of trying to look at um, a situation that you are either currently going through or that you went through before in the past. You're trying to look at it from a different perspective in order to be able to completely heal. And I'm going to go back to your challenge where you have the king of cups. Again, this is about you bringing your emotions back into balance regardless of conflicts, regardless of disagreements, and moving away from the situation in a place of being able to completely heal it, okay? And that's, it's again, it's a big process for you. It's not something that's gonna happen right away. Uh, so what's the, what's the important message here with the Queen of Pentacles? It says, what situation in your life do you hold value to? So what are you investing your energy and time into in the present moment here? What's the important message? You have the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is about you recognizing where you are right now and where you want to go, okay? Because for many of you, you're in a place of needing to make a decision about whether or not you want to have a new beginning, whether or not you're ready to invest time and energy into someone, into a relationship. So there's still something here in the present moment, Gemini, that you're processing, you're trying to get over, you are doing an excellent job. There's someone that's going to come in and help you do that in order for you to get back to this place of balance again. Now let's talk about the near future. Now in the near future, it looks like justice will be served. So if you've been in a place where you've felt like things have been unfair in your life or things haven't come, you know, been in balance for you, that's all going to change here in the, uh, in the near future. You have the seven of wands here. There's a bit of resistance here in the near future. The important message here is what area of your life needs boundaries and protection. So there's something here about needing to protect your assets maybe with the 10 of pentacles here. This could also be about protecting your peace of mind, your grounding energy, also protecting your relationships and how your relationships fun function because the justice card is all about Libra energy and, and this is about you being able to bring your relationships back into balance and not shy away from that, okay? Even though it's difficult to do. Tell me about the justice for Gemini. So the justice is clarified by the nine of wands, the king of wands and the magician. Yeah, this is about you being able to manifest. Remember, I was talking about that at the beginning of the reading and there it is confirmation. You want to get back to this place, Gemini, and being able to create and manifest the things that you like to do. And there's been a lot of guarded energy from you. A lot of changes will be um 
made here in the near future, I feel like you're dropping a burden, okay? You're completely dropping a burden. You're recognizing that you don't want to completely give up on your relationships, but you're also recognizing that your relationships play a role in your ability to manifest what you want. And that's what I, you know, advocate all the time on the channel. It's coming up more for you uh, right now in your reading. This is about you rebuilding your trust in relationships in the near future. And again, that's going to be a process for you because you're still doing a lot of healing in the present moment. Tell me more about the seven of wands in the near future for Gemini. So the seven of wands is clarified by the queen of cups, the page of swords and the king of swords. So this is about you being in a place in the near future. Um, I do feel like you're going to meet a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting maybe a Leo here or an Aquarius. I feel like you're meeting someone here in the near future that you're going to be very happy with. I do see a very happy um, relationship that's coming in. But Gemini, this is happening because you're doing the inner work now to resolve and release someone here from your past the right way. That's why the Six of Cups is here in reverse. So when this person from your past comes back around, you know, and they will... Okay, they will because there's un there's some sort of unfinished business here between you and this person. They're coming back around for you to release them correctly so that you don't have some sort of energetic, negative energetic stain on your aura, which is going to ultimately affect your manifestation capabilities and attracting new love and whatever it is that you're trying to achieve at this point in your life. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. Interesting reading. Let's get some advice. All right, Gemini, so your advice here is the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Strength. So your biggest piece of advice here is to really recognize what you are learning, okay? Because you are realizing something big, which is going to change your life forever. This is about you meeting up with someone here. There's a reconciliation with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, water sign, Cancer. I'm getting a Leo is really strong here. Even if this person isn't one of those signs, this per this person is someone who's very strong. They may, may be someone who likes to um, create. They could be someone who's in the spotlight. I'm really strongly getting with the three of cups here. There will be a reconciliation. And your biggest piece of advice here is to tame your emotions and find your inner strength. Okay. This is what the strength is all about because there's something here, Gemini, that you're going to learn with the strength card. You're going to learn how to be strong. You're going to learn how to be confident. You're going to learn how to release something here that really isn't going to be serving you anymore emotionally. And that's why it's coming back around. Okay. So it can be a conflict. It can be a person from the past. There's some sort of thing here that you're being called to find inner strength uh, within yourself in order to release it cor correctly and be able to move forward. Okay. So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.